Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Just Plays Birth Me Code. Uh, I don't know if we're going to finish this game today because I have no close, no idea how close we are to the end. Um, but I did just do a whole lot of nothing <laughs> in the last episode that we just recorded. So, yay? Um, I did go back and I took a look at quite a few of my notes. Uh, and one of the things that I noticed was that I did have that one area where I was... Um, the the one area where I was I got a bunch of like questions wrong and so I, I went back to that area I think I think I'm in that area where I, I just did the room with the um, all the Homestuck references in it <laughs> again uh, with all the, the constellations and whatnot zodiac signs so um, you know we're back here we've got a shotgun and I guess I'm gonna try and get them all right this time I, I have notes written down uh, so hopefully that will help, uh, I guess, you know, um, what I'm, what I'm really hoping is that it's, you know, cause there was, there was a thing that I was doing where I was like, okay, I, I don't know. I was like, I, I was guessing for things and like, I didn't really need to, and it was all kinds of goofy. So basically this time I'm going to try to use my notes. Uh, I have my phone here, um, with all my notes in it, and hopefully that'll get me through. Like, it asked me a bunch of questions and I got some of them wrong and I don't remember what the questions are because I didn't write them down. Um, cause I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, and I could have gone back and rewatched like, the episode again, which is a thing that, um, I also considered doing, but I didn't end up actually doing that, uh, just because it just, I don't know made life a little bit harder <laughs> for me. So anyway, thanks for joining me today um, again. Uh, I guess this is going to be posted on a different day because we're in a new recording session now. Um, but yeah, so thanks guys. We will go from here. Uh, let's see. And Cory left the room with the shotgun in hand. Once again in the hallway, she noticed her helmet read roughly a half hour after the first entering. Twenty minutes remained. If nothing was done in twenty minutes, she'd die. Unless the system would coincidentally go down, that is. Still, there was something very wrong with the previous room. I don't remember setting it up. Not the room, not the question, or anything else. Did I forget something? None of this feels correct in any capacity. The blonde waited deep in her thoughts until finally an adjacent door opened. The group that came out was Superbia and Tristitia. The two of them scurried over to Ancora only to briefly pause when they noticed she had a shotgun. Hey. Did you figure anything inter did you figure out anything interesting in that room? No, we can't talk about it. Are you gonna let go of that? How come you can't talk about it? She disregarded the inquiry about the firearm entirely. We were told by me that if we talked about it, we'd die. Did she say you'd die? Or you, did she say you'd die? Not exactly. She never specifically says we'd die, just that we'd surrender our right to live. I've always wondered what was up with that strange wording. Because, oh, okay, something just occurred to me. What if we've never been alive to begin with? Like, so I'm thinking about this thing, and in the episode I just recorded, I was talking about how in the alternate route of this one, where you just let Superbia go and get shot when you have that scuffle, um, you can, uh, you can do the, um, yeah, and you find out, like, you're sitting there and, like, you're talking, to, uh, what's-her-face? Ava? Um, but the problem is... The... The problem with it is, is you, um... The, the things didn't match up. Like, the names themselves didn't match up. I'm trying to scroll through my notes to see if I can figure- find if I wrote down the name. But I don't think I did. <laughs> I was just like, wait, new name? <laughs> Question mark? 
Um, it's okay. We'll we'll continue with this. I'm wondering if the whole, like, you know, she doesn't say you'll die, it just means you'll surrender your right to live, which means maybe these guys are not actually alive. Maybe they are in a simulation, or maybe they are, you know, constructs in a game and all these haha, wink wink, nudge nudge type things uh, that are like fourth wall breaking are actually part of the story. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe it's not a twin situation, but they're avatars in, you know, some sort of game world or uh, RP or especially uh, self-indulgent friend fiction. Who knows? He shook his head in dismissive fashion. And what about these bowls? She pointed at the cyan and red bowls the two of them were carrying. All Superbia had to say about it was a shrug. They were in the safe that contained the Mii card and the key we found. We each took one, but I don't know what they're for. Anyway, what about you? Did you get told you couldn't share knowledge too? You seem less bothered by the shotgun than the Superbia was. No. I don't think it's really going to be helpful though. So I'm going to hold off unless we need it. It's definitely going to distract us, and we don't have time to go on wild tangents right now. Time is always working against us, isn't it? I mean... <laughs> C'est la vie, right? <laughs> like... <laughs> I see Emma and Vidi haven't come out yet. Almost as if on cue, the two of them emerged from their room after the door unlocked. The five survivors reunited together and shared their meager findings. Namely, they all had one me card and one key from each room. Nothing else. <laughs> Other than Ancora's shotgun and the two bowls. Together, this gives us 24 me cards and 9 strange keys. We're missing 15 me cards. Yes, we are. However, I have a bit of a plan. But I can't share it with anybody except for Trist. Why's that? That's what me said. I don't know why either, I just can't tell anyone else. If you'll excuse me then, I don't have much time and it takes a while to explain, so... She reached for Trist's wrist, pulling him away from the others. The two of them vanished into the hallway. Think we should follow him to eavesdrop? Nah, give him some privacy. The two lovebirds need it in their final moments. And Cora stayed silent. I'm just kidding. In reality, we can share it with you, with you guys too, but I don't know if it's a good idea for now. I think she just made it up to get away from your gun. If I could fire it, it could solve the problem of needing two more deaths, at least. I figured it might cause something like that to happen. I have no intention of shooting anybody, and besides, even if me really said that, you haven't been punished for breaking into somewhere you weren't meant to be, right? That's also correct. I guess whoever is behind this is very fickle. Impossible to understand. On another level than humanity as a whole. So what do we do now? Do we just stay here until the others come fetch us again? That seems to be the plan. And at least we're back with our original group, huh? Grumpy face? I am not. Ugh, whatever. It didn't seem like she had the energy to oppose NVIDIA in such a way anymore. Ancora was just as tired. This entire ordeal was taking a toll on her too, both mentally and physically. You know, we haven't really done much chit-chat in general, huh? Like talking about the weather? That's kind of useless. A lot of things are useless, but everything has a point too. Let's say you fire up a random discussion around colors. It's not just about the colors themselves. Of course, what color you like best will never be important unless, say, you end up dating someone and they want to give you a present in the color you like best. However, just talking about it can be refreshing too. It's just the basis of all communication. It's not just about the subject, but also about the manner. How you approach the subject is interesting too. I say. Well, that's good and all, but my favorite color is green. I must be your favorite then. He pointed at his outfit, which was partially green. I guess? I don't have a preference if it's dark or bright, though. So you like Lux? She was pretty nice. Just a victim of circumstances. Nah, ah You keep telling yourself that, you hella naive girl. 
Remember, we're all here for a reason, and we've all committed a crime. Whatever she was, she still did it. The timer is quickly approaching the 45 minute mark. Around that point in time, their conversation was interrupted by Avaricia calling over to them. Hey, Superbia, mind if I get your bowl? Huh? The question took her by surprise. And Cora remembered, back in the first room, how combative she had been over a simple cylinder. Yet, defying all expectations, Superbia handed it over like it wasn't any big deal. Like it ain't no thing. I don't care what's happening here, so whatever, you can have it. Thanks. And with that done, the woman walked away again. This time, the group's curiosity was piqued. It was like Superbia said, none of them were getting anything that was going on. Even I'm at a loss now. After a few more seconds, they decided to walk out, believing the sharing of information between the two others had taken long enough by then. They walked through the hallway, still without signs of Avaricia or Tristitia. They walked back to the main room, and on the stairs were the two of them. On the ground were the two bowls. One of them, the cyan one, contained all the meat cards the two of them had before. Tristitia waved them over. I was going to fetch you soon, but this is fine too. So I can't share what's behind this, but I can share what my plan is right now. Oh, this is right. This is the whole thing where it's like we're testing your psychic powers. Right, 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 right. Okay. Like, I, I remember doing this vaguely. I just, you know, it's been like a month. <laughs> Bear with me. Um, I would be pretty excited, like, if we were almost to the end of this game, because I am kind of curious about where it's going. I, I have some ideas about it that I've discussed as time goes on, but I don't know. I just, I'm trying to figure out, like, what is the point? Like, what's the main kind of thing? And, like, there's the whole thing about how we have to get the, the box open or whatever. You know? Okay. So anyway, he's doing this and blah blah blah. <laughs> Alright, so we get to the spying. So, I'm pretty sure it says NVIDIA question time in my notes. <laughs> uh. Alright, so we can do this 6 equals 2 times 4, then sort by ascending. So 6 equals 8? Is that the, is that the deal? 6 equals 8, huh? Did I solve this already? I don't remember. All the numbers should add up to 105 together. 6 together is equal to double the other. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This equals 2 times 4. Uh, hmm. So, this is 13. 13 has to stay here. 2, 4, 5, 5, 8, 12, 15, 20, 21. Oh. So there's six over here. Okay, so these. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so these six have to uh, equal to double these, right? And we have to use 13. Um, okay, all right, all right, okay, all right, this is, this is, this is easy enough. Um, let me go get my calculator. We gotta put 13 on this side, right? So, uh, and we're gonna have to pedmos this shit, I guess. We've got 13, that one's set. Now, in order to have the rest of these, we wanna put the lower ones over here, right? So we can have 13 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5, I guess. So that's 24. So we can have 24 on that side. That's the lowest we can go. And then we're going to add the other ones on this side, right? 
So let's let's do this just for the time being. Okay. So this is over here is going to be 24 for right now. Uh oh no, is it 24 times 2? My bad. Yeah, 13 and 5 is 18. 20, 24. Okay. And then 24 times 2 is going to be 48. Okay. So we've got 48 on this side. All right, so we need to add up to 48 over here. But we're already well over that because we've got a 20 and a 21. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. All right, okay. Maybe instead of, let's do, instead of this, let's make you eight. And instead of five, let's make you 12. How about this? see what this is. So this is going to be 13 plus 12 plus 2 plus 8. It's 35. 35 times 2 is 70. Which I know because I know all about the English education reform in Japan that happened over the last couple of years in elementary school. Alright, so we're trying, to get, we're trying to get 70 here. So we've got 20 plus 21 plus 15 uh, plus five, plus four, plus five. Oh, I did it already. Cool. There we go. What? Okay, somehow I mathed wrong even with a calculator. I'm not surprised, but I'm still disappointed. <laughs> All right, okay. Two plus eight plus twelve plus thirteen. Okay, it's thirty-five. Thirty-five times two is seventy. Right? And we have 15 plus 20 plus 21 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5. That equals 70. They both add up to 70. What the fuck are you talking about? I got it right. It's here. Six together is equal to double the other four. Unless this four is significant somehow? Or all the numbers add up to 105 together. What kind of... I don't know. Oh, jeez. Alright, um... Uh... I was like, oh, I figured it out pretty quick this time. Yay! But no. <laughs> Man, fuck off with that shit. Alright, maybe maybe I can figure out... Oh. Oh, I'm stupid and I didn't read. You have to then... Right. I, I've been so focused on this, I just realized this was here. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I forgot they had to be in the right order. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I used, I used a hint on that one, but like, I don't feel bad because... <laughs> I used the hint and then I didn't use the fucking... whatever. No. It's fine. Okay, smile and shine. Are you sure this isn't just a huge waste of time? We've got less than 10 minutes left before the vote and we still need to kill two others among us in order to live. Superbia, Tristitia, and Nvidia were together in the middle of the crossroads. They apparently were discussing about their experiment the horse was conducting. Horse experiments! This is Avaricia's idea, and I think it might reasonably work. But you're relying on psychic powers! That sounds insane to me! She's not completely wrong. I guess to someone who doesn't know any of this, it sounds completely ludicrous. What do you mean, someone who doesn't know any of this? Are you saying psychic powers are real? You're even loonier than I imagined. Not real, so to say, but more... They can be made manifest. 
The horse boy crossed his arms, looking rather prideful about his beliefs. If you believe they are real, then they are real. That's stupid. I'm out of here. She walked away from the boys and down the stairs. Nvidia shrugged at Tristitia, who returned it in kind. The two boys didn't understand the fuss she was making. It's fine. She doesn't understand. None of them do, really. You don't either, to be fair. No, Ancora has psychic powers and we can finally prove it. All my life has been leading up to this. Ooh, that's sad. <laughs> this is the birth of Espers. Don't you get it? I don't think this has anything to do with psychic powers. The reason why Cora can see things is because her helmet can hack into others. Wait, she's the mastermind behind all this? I could have sworn. No, she's not the mastermind. It's Ava. Wait, what? Wait, how do you know that? How do you know all this stuff about Ava anyway? Or does that mean we have to kill her? You've got it all wrong. The Kill Me game isn't about killing the Mastermind. It's about... He took a short pause, uncertain of what he was saying. Suddenly, he had a change in attitude. What were we talking about again? What do you mean? About how Ava's the Mastermind? Ava isn't the Mastermind. What are you talking about? Something strange is going on here. What the hell is this all about? Well, what's the experiment all about then? I thought this had for thought this had for goal to create espers and try and save the world. We're not in a video game like one of those you've played before. The timer had been advancing. We should call them back. We're almost out of time. Go for it. Ancora has ample time to see I didn't move the me cards anyway, unlike what I said I'd do. Video left Tristitia's side, venturing back to the, into the staircase where he met Superbia again. Hey, go tell Ava and Cora that things are fine now, they can come back. It's time. Do I look like a door to door salesman to you? No, you look like a lost little girl who has no idea about what's happening. Please. Ugh. Fine. She flipped the bird, though the motion was softer than usual, as if she was doing it as a joke. Then she walked away, back to the doors leading into the first hallway they'd been into. The frequency switched at this moment for Nvidia's helmet, causing it to lose connection to Ancora's own. It took a little while, but eventually re-established itself into the girl's view. Ancora took a few steps outside the classroom, but stopped in her tracks. She turned to look at Avaricia, who noticed she wasn't walking anymore. The older woman had left the immediate area earlier, yet remained close by to keep an eye on her. What is it? Is something wrong? No, just that something's really strange, I guess. I don't feel too good about this. I've got a bad feeling about it if you ask me. I got a bad feeling about this too. I've got a bad feeling about this too. The girl noticed she was still carrying the shotgun with her. Right, she found it in the room she investigated before, and for some reason she felt like Avaricia was trustworthy. I would laugh so hard if this whole game just led up to like Ava running this whole thing as like, have you guys ever seen Arrested Development and the one episode where everyone decides to try and like teach a lesson to each other about the, the like buying drugs or whatever it is? And they, they 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 hire the hot cops and stuff. And there's like the the one armed guy uh, that um, the, the dad George Bluth always hires to teach the kids like lessons and stuff. And he's like, and that's why you don't leave the fridge open or whatever. If this whole thing is just a complete like counter troll to like like uh, to Ancora trying to set herself up and and be like ha 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 the traitor. <laughs> it's just a big like, and that's why you don't teach lessons. I will fucking die. <laughs> there was just this part of her that told her. You can trust her. If she doesn't have the shotgun, you'll die. Far from her to argue against her inner voice, she handed the firearm over to a very surprised teacher. 
Here, this is for you. The woman waited for a second before reaching for it. What? What are you thinking? Something in me said, Ava will need this. Psychic powers? I don't know. With that done, Ancora and Avaricia stepped forward once again. The timer was coming down on them. Whatever plan Tristitia had in mind, it had better work. Five minutes remained. Okay, hold up. Time stood at a standstill. This is the most important moment of these six hours. Right now, there's a choice to make. Or rather, there are multiple choices to make. I need to determine some things before we move on. Namely, first, I need to determine who the traitor is. But that's not all. I also need to determine what happened to my recordings. Someone messed with my recordings! Is that also the traitor's doing? It's time to deduce. Let's all go back, all the way back to the very beginning. The first thing that was strange was... Uh, and I think I got this right the last time with, like, the metal box thing. Um... Metal box. That's right, that box. I don't think that was part of the plan. Did every classroom have a metal box like that? I don't know what's inside, but let's just keep it in mind for now. Next, there was a death. Assuming my emptiness is made of all seven deadly sins in Latin plus Ancora and Pandora, and considering the ninth of them died, the one who died was really named... Uh... I don't remember what I said last time. <laughs> Shit. Uh, so I guess maybe it's like she was actually Ancora? I think I said Pandora last time and I was wrong. Ah, oh, damn it, that's not it. Alright guys, I'm gonna have to reload. I will be back. Give me a minute. Um, Amy, you're gonna have to put a cut here. Cut time! Okay. Hey, and we're at this point. Okay, cool. Oh, God. Um, I guess that wasn't too bad. I just had to control super quickly through stuff, so... Um, I'm only gonna need to cut out a couple of minutes. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, box. Um, alright. So for this one, I guess it's Pandora, and because I keep making the same mistake with this, I guess. All right, it was actually named Pandora. That's right. The ninth person was Pandora, and their death is the reason behind the group's confusion. But there's a problem with that idea. Namely, I'm Pandora, but also... That would mean I've personally engineered and planned for myself to die, which isn't the case. Something is fishy about that death. But let's keep it in mind for now and move on to the third thing. The third strange thing was the slip-up. That message was recorded, and I wasn't sure how many people would be alive, but eight was the fairest bet. And instead of saying eight, the recorded me said... And this should be seven, because last time I said nine. Uh, that's right. They said seven. That's the only... That's only possible, as Trist pointed out, if it's not a recording, because otherwise they couldn't have known we'd be two down. Even if they'd engineered the death of the third person and guessed someone would die with it, with the vote, you can't guess you can't guess those are going to be the only deaths. Someone's hijacked my game. I think it's fairly clear about who did it. The person who took over my game, I guess would be Nvidia. Maybe. I don't think it's Nvidia. Mm. Cause he doesn't seem like he's... <sighs> oh, wait a minute! Is it... Is this the one where it's Ancor is the answer? Because it's it's like we went in and we saw, a, like, the version of ourselves after the elevator. Alright, let's try it, man. Whatever. If I gotta spend a few minutes going back, I gotta spend a few minutes going back. Okay. Alright, there we go. That's right! This means Pandora isn't dead. They are the one listed as Pandora, who's actually Ancora, switch with me to hide my identity. Yeah, like I said, it's a twin swap thing. I've been there. It's a mandatory card that you need to have in play when you play the Donron 
Um, werewolf game. Let's recapitulate real quick. First, I love it because, like, it's becoming clearer and clearer here that, like, the character we're playing as is not actually the mastermind. <laughs> it's actually someone else she just likes to think of herself as being the mastermind, which is kind of, like, an interesting take. But I also like the idea of her just being really stupid Junko. <laughs> it's also really funny to me. Alright, re <laughs> let's recapitulate real quick. First, we have a mysterious box that NVIDIA couldn't lift. Do you even lift, brah? Second, Pandora has usurped me. The real Pandora. Third, they can talk using me in real time. <gasps> is 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 me a deep fake? Is is she a VTuber? Oh my god, VTuber me! <laughs> Something still doesn't add up though. Uh, if they had taken over, why can I still control the game to the extent where I can make someone die? No, wait. That's a problem with the fact that there are guns. <laughs> Votes were switched and video didn't die. Uh I mean, like, she knew there were going to be guns, so that's not a problem. The votes being switched weren't her having control over someone who didn't die. <sighs> but this doesn't seem like it fits I, Uh... I'm going to go with this one because this seems like it's the most relevant. Okay. That's right. NVIDIA didn't die when I booted the program. It even broadcast the results, the rule breaking. It would be easy to assume it's because the room is off limits. Truth be told, it's not. No room here is out of range. It would be stupid to have a room where the connection cuts. That means Pandora, the other Pandora, managed to take over the game and stop it. Something else still doesn't fit. Let's go over other topics and see if we can't figure it out. You're there, right? You, yes. I'm talking to you. Thanks for helping me, by the way. Yeah, nah. Like, <laughs> I have done way more harm than help. It's a great help. Barring the topic about the one who took over the game, since we conclude Pandora is the traitor, we were supposed to have 39 me cards. Instead, right now, we have... 24, right? That's what Nvidia just said. That's right. We're missing a whole 15 of them which is unheard of. I don't think it would be possible, even for me, to forget about a little less than half of the required elements to survive. By design, 15 were omitted by the traitor. He must have taken them. No, it doesn't add up. This seems deliberate, yet by a third party. Still, we need 39 me cards. There are 24 found, and 9 are already in the console. If we do a quick subtraction, removing 9 from 24 gives us 15. What does it mean? That's the number we're missing. So we can conclude that the plan is to... What? <laughs> I'm very tempted to choose this just because it's funny. This is this one is like... Okay, so I don't think I would have arrived at this answer on my own, but given that the other... the other options are like very clearly wrong... <laughs> that's right. The plan is to use the psychic powers I developed to double the me cards, but we both know there are no psychic powers, so this won't work. Yet there's no choice but to humor them. The reason is because... If the other Pandora is the traitor, then they're still alive, and I have to stay hidden. But how did I not realize it? Everyone looks the same as they should look. Something in me says... Could it be we have twins here? See? You know, I fucking every time. It's always twins. That's the only thing coming to mind. I just watched The Prestige and played Donkin Rampa. <laughs> if someone here had a twin we didn't know about, they could have done it by using their copy. <laughs> but <it was> like, <laughs> but then again, it would feel a little cheap. I'm not admitting it though. Might just be a body double. You're all wearing masks. Like, yeah, it could be a body double. How did they manage to slip that by me? Because you're wearing full face masks! <laughs> Let's pretend that there's a twin or a copy in the survivors. That would mean that the most likely candidate and the one still alive, based on everything we know, is someone who changed a lot, since they wouldn't act the same way. 
Who changed a lot in the past hours? Who changed a lot? Uh, I feel like this is like specific to this route, which I skipped over a lot of. Um, okay, so Ancora is out, I think. Avarisha hasn't really changed that much. Ula is a possibility. Nvidia is a possibility. Ira, meh. He died too early in this one. Lux hasn't changed. Pandora has, but I feel like this isn't it. Trist, not so much. Superbia, maybe? Man. Alright. Since it seems like it's striking true, we're just gonna go with my usual, like, I'm gonna- this is- this is how I solve most of the cases that I- that I come up in, like, DRK. Is I'm like, who is the character that I like the most? <laughs> and that one's probably the one that's, you know, behind something. Maybe not ultimately everything, but probably something. It's a very tried and true thing that I've been doing. Uh, it works in Danganronpa games. Um, it works in Danganronpa side novels, and let's see if it works here. So we'll go with Superbia. See? It never fucking fails! Also, yeah, okay, it must be the fucking one with twin tails, right? That's right. Superbia mellowed out a while ago, didn't she? And she vanished for a while with no supervision. Then again, so did NVIDIA. However, he still had the me card he found before, and I can confirm what he found. There really is a room that leads outside. If I remember right, there was also a paper that read a fake with pigtails back in the very first room. Oh yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. God, that was forever ago. Um, Superbia really freaked out at it. Superbia has a fake with pigtails then, as many people do. A double or a twin. Either way, it means that the one who's still here is that twin. That one is the traitor. They're Pandora. The more I think about it, the less sure I am. They're the most likely suspect, and Occam's Razor stipulates that the simplest explanation is often right. But this whole twin affair is a bit hard to swallow. Also, you're in the you're in a game that's riffing off of an Uchikoshi game. It's not gonna be Occam's Razor. <laughs> not for an Uchikoshi game, necessarily. Um, the simplest explanation would be the traitor isn't here, the traitor never died, or the traitor faked their death. How... How how are these... Okay, aside from semantically... Alright, we'll just do this, why not? If you're gonna be ripping off a whole bunch of stuff in the first Donnon game, then fine, we'll just go with it. See? That's right. <laughs> A fake dead body would explain it too. That means they only would need to make us believe one of them died for it to work. I guess this also goes for like DR Togami in the second volume where <laughs> where it's the extended flashback and they're like, oh, here are the creepy twins. And I'm like, oh yeah, creepy twins in a Danganronpa franchise. Yep, this is how this is gonna go. I'm like, I wonder what bullshit's gonna happen here. And then it gets revealed that they're actually triplets. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> It's really funny. Um, if you guys haven't read my summaries of those 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 books, you should. I need to get back to doing my summaries, actually. I have uh, DRK5 sitting next to my computer, and like, I do really want to read it. I genuinely want to read it, and I genuinely want to do, you know, more of the summaries and stuff. I just... I don't know. Either... <laughs> it's just... Energy, man. Having energy and time to, to commit to doing it is, is tough, man. Um, okay. Come to think of it, have we never checked any of the bodies? Are we sure they're even dead? I mean, fine, removing the head is a pretty sure way to kill someone. But if someone had to fake their death, which would it be in those who died? If it's the one with Gula and Luxuria, then they would only need to convince two out of nine. And then the two of them would actually spread fear and confusion to the rest. And none would be the wiser. We can't even question Gula or Luxuria as they both surrendered their right to live. But this is still useless, because the group hasn't found all 39 me cards still. I could shut down the program and save everyone, but not while the traitor is still alive. If they're left alive, then they could just take over, as they've done before with me's speech and by preventing NVIDIA to die. 
Come to think of it, why would they save NVIDIA? NVIDIA still owes them something, they're in love with NVIDIA, they need NVIDIA's mini card. Uh, okay, so it's clearly not this one, because that doesn't matter. Um, NVIDIA still owes them something. Need his me card. Uh, it's either gonna be one or three. Let's let's work through this. Um, I mean, it could be either of them. Um, because there is that one thing when you get the the one bad end where Nvidia dies and he sacrifices himself and he's like, oh, this is my job. I'm supposed to do this. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> All right, let's go with the one on top since I did the one at the bottom last time. Okay, that's all right. They'd still need NVIDIA's me card. But why couldn't they just get it themselves? Ah, wait, I already have the answer to that one. Don't bother. It's because he was in the other room, wasn't it? He spoke of needing a key. Which keys did NVIDIA have at that point? At that point? Uh, I traded him G. Uh, I traded him G for... Oh, hang on, I know this. So there's no L key that I'm aware of at this point in time. Maybe there is, I just don't remember. Uh, it was A, I, and G. And he traded me G for... Oh, for A, right. Okay, that's G and I. Gastrointestinal! That's right! <laughs> and he even traded to get the G key, too. I remember that. The G key is the key that unlocks the way out, then. He wouldn't be trading it if it wasn't the case. So we traded the A key away, which allowed all of the other locks to come undone because they required the A key. It was wing A, after all. Wait, wouldn't that be the real reason why he would trade them away? NVIDIA wanted to give the A key to someone who could unlock the rooms here, to speed up the Mii card collection. So his goal was to get both the G key and trade the A key away. To be honest, that's also very suspicious. Uh, does everything add up correctly, or did I make a mistake somewhere? I feel like there were way more questions than I originally had. Um, Alright. Uh, hopefully, based on that and the earlier guess on Superbia, I think I've narrowed it down to two suspects. With that in mind, who is it then? If Superbia and Nvidia are both suspicious, who is the traitor? It's Nvidia then. Does it make sense? I guess we have to find out now. It was as if all those thoughts rapid fired at once, taking only the span of a single moment. Inkora panted in her helmet, registering all of that information. Avaricia had stopped her movements to inquire on her state. Are you all right, Cora? Yes. Let's well, let's keep going. Vlan joined up with everyone else again. She stood before Tristitia, who had a hand on both bowls. She looked at Nvidia, then at Superbia, then back at the bowls. The group seemed surprised when Avarishia came up too. They looked at each other in turns, noticing the teacher had the shotgun in Cora previously held. However, no one commented on that. Tristitia went straight to business, and understandably so. Based on what you've seen, Cora, pick a bowl. Any bowl. And Cora briefly paused. Four minutes remaining. She made her choice. I'm picking the cyan bowl. Fifteen me cards are under that bowl. You said you would switch them, but I saw, and you said you didn't switch them in the end. You saw? I don't know how to call it. I just know. You did nothing to the cyan bowl. That's what you said, and I'm choosing to trust your words. Superbia seemed a little agitated, though no one but Ancora noticed. The girl knew that Superbia hated this kind of stupid thing, but for once, the rabbit didn't look annoyed, but bothered. 
Tristitia's insistence on questioning her was making Ancora grumpy. To not heat up the situation anymore, he acknowledged her request and lifted the cyan bowl. Underneath were 15 me guards. Ah, I was right! You liar. You thought you'd pull a fast one on me and make fun of me. She spat the words at the horse boy. He shook his head, just as Superbia took center stage to finally reveal what was bothering her so much. Yeah, uh, he lied, and I guess that was part of the plan. But, uh, I did touch the me cards in the bowls. They're under the red bowl now. Don't be dumb, they're under the cyan bowl. We just checked. Well, let's check into the red bowl then, if you're so sure. The wolf offered a solution to quill all disputes in a quick and elegant manner. Tristitia lifted the red bowl underneath and was... A pile of me cards. Fifteen of them, to be precise. While Ancora stood there dumbstruck, in much the same state as Superbia, Nvidia picked up the me cards and counted them in his hands. Yep, that's fifteen me cards. And since we now have those under the other bowl, too... Wait, wait! Wait, I say! Let me see him. She took the cards from him, and she also threw the bowl away to look at the other ones. She compared them. The two lots of 15 had exactly the same cards. A few of them were used up in both piles, since they'd already been served for a vote. But this is... Why? How? No time to explain, and besides, I think it would fly over your head. Right now, we have to do the vote. And Ancora's helmet, the timer was running down. One minute to use up all of the me cards and put them in the machine. Wait, we just have to put in the me cards and... Do you know if we fulfilled the other conditions for the kill me game too? Well, no, but... Then there's no time to waste. Go! The group woke up from its collective stupor when everyone realized that they had approximately one minute of life left. If they did nothing, then they would all perish. Quickly, they scrambled to their feet. In the light... In the light route, each of them grabbed a handful of me cards so well that Superbia ended up without a working me card and had to nag Nvidia about it before they arrived at the consoles. On the way there, Ancora noticed her boot was lighter. Someone took the gun, she had, and she didn't even notice in a hurry. That's definitely not good. If someone took it, that means they still have a personal agenda beyond winning this game. Quack, put the cards in, you morons! Standing in front of the consoles, everyone looked at each other, and upon Superbia's call, they all put the cards in. Then, the timer froze, and ten minutes began counting down. Okay. Whew. Ten minutes of respite. Uh, what do we do now? How do we tackle this? Do we even have an idea of what we're going to vote? First, we should determine if the Mastermind's dead. I'm a lot more interested in the sleight of hand from earlier. Those me cards came out of nowhere, and I'm very confused that it actually worked. I'd like to live, so we should vote for someone regardless of who it is. Uh, unless it's you, right? I don't even just say it, but yes, I'd like to not be the one voted out. But about the mastermind? And the me cards? Tristitia was already putting the me cards that were spent into the bomb while everyone else was talking. The cacophony, however, continued and then two minutes had already vanished into thin air. They can't understand each other. This is going nowhere, right towards an untimely death. SHUT UP! <laughs> Everyone shut up! Everyone did just that, all of them turning their head over to look at Ancora's outburst. SIX MINUTES! What do we do? Forget the me cards, forget the mastermind. Someone has to die right now, the vote is underway. Right. These ten minutes were bought with someone's life. One of us is a dead man walking, but who? Okay, listen. I know you're going to vote for me, so just stop trying to avoid the elephant in the room. I don't especially want to die now that we have a way out. Nobody would, but you're the biggest asshole of the group, and... Look who's talking. But I'm not here to plead my case. I wanted to say, Bia, you've improved greatly, and I'm glad that that's the case. I don't get what's going on with the me cards, so... At least you could explain that, VD. Then I'll accept my fate. Basically, it goes like this. 
As he began talking, Tristitia came nearer to him to make sure that he understood what the wolf was saying clearly. But before he could say anything else, Tristitia suddenly grabbed him from behind and locked the barrel of a revolver against his helmet. Unfortunately, I'm not entirely ready to go yet. Pardon me. So there's going to be a vote now, correct? I know who the mastermind is. It's Bia. What? You always just say what when someone says something you don't agree with. No, only when it's fucking dumb. Trist. I have a reason for thinking that, but I can't say it right now. Right now, you can vote for Superbia and kill the Mastermind so we can win, or I'll kill NVIDIA, who is my second suspect. You must have made the same kind of deduction. I have the same suspects in mind. And Cora molded over. Superbia watched in slight apprehension. Avaricia still had the shotgun, but Trist's stance was unwavering, and it was clear that if she made one move with, to lift it, he would immediately kill NVIDIA. As for NVIDIA himself, he remained motionless. For a few seconds, Avaricia moved around Tristitia, trying to get him from behind, but he wouldn't have any of it. He kept watch the whole time. Eventually, she deposited the shotgun on the ground, as if marking the fact that she was giving up and up and opposing him. The tense situation didn't resolve itself yet, but all of them were surrounding Tristitia with Avaricia resting against his console while waiting for the verdict of the situation. Uh, I'll need to vote too. Yes? That's fine, but first I want to see all of you vote for Bia. Two of you must do so. It would be in poor taste of me to ask for Bia to vote for herself, so Cora, Ava? Would you two do the honors? Neither Anquira nor Avaricia wanted to sacrifice Superbia now that they had made it this far, but they didn't really have a choice. They moved to their consoles and prepared themselves to off the rabbit. Unfortunately, the camera in the crossroads is malfunctioning, robbing the helmet of its bird's eye view this time around. Well, that's a little silly. No point in having that, then. Guess we'll just go back to the normal view. Some of the equipment can break down, since it's not the highest quality stuff, which is what probably happened. The view was switched back. Attaching their helmets to the shotguns trapped the two of them in there, and they pushed onto the button uh, after some hesitation. At first, it looked like they wouldn't, but they ultimately abdicated in favor of Tristitia's demand. After which, he remained true to his word and released NVIDIA. With their helmets stuck there, though, Ankur and Avaricia could do nothing but wait. Now you and Superbia push in your votes. I want everyone to be at their console. Kick the shotgun away while waiting for them to move over. His gun was aiming at the others this whole time. If anyone stepped out of line, it was over for one of them, and maybe even for the others, too. The timer had already gone past one minute remaining. In only a few seconds, it would be all over if they didn't finish entering the votes. Fine, then. But I'm not voting for Bia. That's okay. I only need three votes anyway. With Cora and Ava done. You only need your own vote with them, huh? You'll be burning to hell, you fucking pig. It's not me who's the pig. I'm the horse. Whatever. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Pigs are great. Horses... <laughs> and Cora couldn't see the other's votes since she was stuck in front of the shotgun. She figured Superbia and NVIDIA would vote for Tristitia, however. Finally, Tristitia entered his vote in a hurry, with five seconds remaining on the clock. The votes registered, and the outcome came. It's no surprise now. Superbia is going to die, which isn't exactly something I'm mad about. After all, she was one of my suspects. With Superbia out of the picture, NVIDIA remains. Is there a way to kill him without triggering anyone's suspicions? He's the traitor, right? He even admitted it himself. It would have been so good if Tristitia had shot him despite all the votes going for Superbia anyway. With some luck, he'll take care of that by himself. The results flashed on the screens. Tristitia's symbol showed across all of them. You should have looked at what I was doing instead of holding NVIDIA hostage. I switched the portraits, so you voted for yourself. What? No! The portraits! No time, no time. The murderer has to die, at the very least. 
In a last-ditch effort to attain his primary goal, he immediately shot Superbia's helmet, since his console was easily in range of hers, giving him a clean target. In the same moment, the shotgun fired at him, and much like the others before, his head was cleanly detached from his body in a rapid explosion. The corpse fell to the ground, with a trail of blood coming from the neck. Unfortunately, Superbia collapsed. He got her in the head, so the helmet did its job. After the explosion, the rabbit's body lay motionless in a similar position to Tristitius. The aftermath of the macabre scene left the three survivors rather flabbergasted. With two bodies, however, the total amount of deaths came up to six. While the moment left the two others in shock, Avaricia was already on the move. Quick! Put the me-cards into the machine! With this call back to reality, Ancora realized she only had 20 seconds before death. Quickly, she grabbed the me cards from around the other consoles and brought them over alongside with Avaricia. The two of them put the cards into the contraption. The timer froze when it reached eight seconds remaining. I think this is it then. I think it's over. But I'm not even sure if Superbia is the usurper. My other possible guess was when Nvidia was nowhere near. He had already left. Where's Vidi? Don't worry about him. He grabbed the keys from the bodies. I think he's going on ahead to open the way out. He's going to need our keys, too. And Cora cast a glance back to the dead bodies. She couldn't feel much for Tristitia, but it was clear she was feeling something for Superbia. Oh! <laughs> Annoyance? Aw. Perhaps. Sadness? Maybe. Superbia might have usurped the game, but she still showed growth. But... Was she the traitor? It's so annoying. I can't confirm it. And to hell with growth. If it was a double, then she really didn't. Was it even a double? I can't be sure. That's what's annoying. Guess that's all we have left to do now. Head outside. Go ahead. I'll join you shortly. Angora wasn't sure. She looked over at the dead bodies, then to the revolver next to Tristitia, and the shotgun on the ground not too far off from him, too. Don't worry, I'm not going to touch it. I have no reason now that we've won. We're the remaining three survivors, right? If you say so. The girl decided to give one final show of trust and leave them inside. Before she left, though, she saw the screens on display. They no longer had Tristitia on them. Instead, they said, Error. Multiple trust detected. Ah, I see. That makes sense now. That's why I'm getting these visions. By getting the trust value high, the connectivity between two helmets is enhanced. That means when once one deactivates, it's capable of communicating with mine. Problem is, when multiple ones die at once, there's interference upon interference, and the communication can't be established. So the vision I was getting, they were because the information goes directly between the helmets, which would mean that every helmet contains everyone's personalities, and memories in them. And that's why I knew all these things about them, and why I could tell them about their own selves. When the connection was established, they became a part of my information. That's what people are, right? A bunch of information? Memories, experiences... Everyone is the sum of all those and nothing else. Existence by osmosis. But enough about that, I'm so tired. Well, let's go now. I feel like this is like this... It's just, it is a profound thought. I will give them that. It's a very profound thing to say. Um, it's going with this very... Uh, what's his face? Um, what's, what's his name? The poet? John Donne? Uh, where it's like, no man is an island. The whole thing. And it's like, you know, your humanity and yourself and your existence is defined by your relationships with other people. Um, you know, the secret to life and the meaning of life is connecting with other people. Stuff like that. Um... And, you know, I think that's kind of an interesting question, but I just like that <laughs> we've gotten to the point where we're like, who cares? I'm tired. Let's just go. Because, man, do I relate. Oh, Cora, before you go, take these. Before the girl could go, Avarisha gave her two keys, the L and the S keys. Make sure you don't lose them on the way there. You'll need all of the keys. Thanks. What are you going to do? Honestly, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. After giving her a wave, Ancora was already moving back toward the exit, 
far too eager to stay in place and wait for Avaricia. It's kind of wild thinking about this as like, um, like six hours, like a six hour period because A, because I've spent so much time playing this game far over six hours. I think more than triple <laughs> that amount of time. Um, but it's also interesting because like, that's not even a full work day. <laughs> Like, imagine all of this going down in, like, the course of, like, one workday. Um, and now I want to rewatch the Belko experiment. All right. After giving her a wee... All right, all right. Soon, she found the secret door embedded into the wall, and as they had surmised, it was already open. Much like Avaricia had assumed, NVIDIA had gone further in. Oh, there's the G, I see. Following after him, and Cora stepped through the room. I just pointed at it in real life, as if you could see me do that. Um, it was a small room, unworthy of mention. Just a checkpoint to see if the G key had been gained. The door to the elevator opened. Inside was Nvidia, pressing on a button to keep them open for Ancora, since he'd heard her walk by. Finally, she stepped into the elevator. <laughs> I'll beat Lisa. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um. That's where Ankura met with Nvidia again, who waved her over to the nearby panel to push every key inside and turn them all. Strangely, the panel only took eight keys, leaving the G key unused. Soon after, while they remained in the elevator, they were joined by Avaricia. Once all three of them were inside, it began moving upwards. Where are we going? Outside, I guess. But the exit is on the ground level, and I don't remember an elevator here. That's because this isn't the school you think it is. This is a replica. I figured as much. The question is, how? How does she know this? Could it be... Is she the traitor? Nothing to do now but wait. In maybe a minute, something is going to happen, but first I want you to think clearly about the keys we found. I want you to think about what they mean. That Kingdom Hearts is light? Um... You figured it out? Obviously, just like Midair Avionics, which is also an anagram. Oh yeah, that's right, I never actually bothered to do Midair Avionics, did I? <laughs> Whoops! Sorry! I'm checking on my, uh... My, my levels here. You saw that too, right? Vidi planted that there. Nvidia remained eerily silent, listening to what Avarishi was saying. About the keys. They have a lot of letters on them. Specifically, there's a key for all the letters. L-I-S-A, L-I-A-S-P-G-I-T, and A. Two keys come back multiple times. This is an anagram. What can be made with the letters L-I-A-S-P-G-I-T and A? Uh, I might need a piece of paper for this. Um, excuse me for a second. I have a, uh, this, like, little book that I use sometimes to plan out, like, D&D campaigns and, um, like, uh, quests, as it were, in the style of Ruby Quest or... Homestuck or Problem Sleuth. Um, right now I'm running a private one for one of my friends, uh, and so I have to get past all these notes. Okay, so we have L L I A S P G I T and A. Okay, I just want to write that down in case they take it away. Is it trying to tell us something? Is that the real purpose of the paper we found way back in the first room? Okay. Um, what was the other one? It was midair avionics. Alright, I'm doing- I'm doing 
midair avionics first, I think. Let's see if I can figure out that. Eva is. Uh, All right. I'll have to think about that one a little bit more. Uh, okay, so we have Lisa... Lisa Pagetti! Uh, all right, so we have two A's. Two I's. Uh... Let's see. Could it be past? P-A-S-T. Past. Past. Uh. G. G. I. A. I. L. Past heal I. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's it. Um, maybe gas. So gas. Gas lit. What do I have left over? Another A? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6. So it's three more letters that I don't have here. Uh, another A, another I, and P. Gaslit. Pia? I don't think that's it. <laughs> we did it. We gaslit Pia, everybody. Um, tag, slit, tag, slit, again, Pia. I ended up with Pia a lot at the end here. Um, cast Hila I, Gaslit Pia, Tag Slit Pia, uh, Spit, Aga, Spit Agali? That's not it. Um, pig. Uh, P. I. Could make Pigtalius. <laughs> Pigtalius. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, you could do pigtails, but that pigtails leaves you with an extra A. Is it A pigtails? <laughs> Pigtails, woo! Um, Lisa, uh... 
Topig. Which sounds like it would be a name. Lisa Topig. Um... Hmm. Okay, let's let's start trying some of these and see if any of them work. And then we'll keep we'll keep doing some more. Uh, I like anagrams and I like cryptograms and stuff quite a bit, but it's not very interesting watching someone else solve one, especially when you can't see them. Um, so let's try Lisa Lisa Topic first. Remember the very first deduction. My emptiness? Pigtails A. Wait, why was it Pigtails A? That doesn't... Oh, unless it's supposed to be like Pigtails A, Pigtails B? Like we have like a thing one, thing two situation going on here? That's right, you can form the words a pigtails with them. Who says a pigtails? And the note said a fake with pigtails. Did it point towards superbia? Who else said pigtails here? Well, I mean, conceivably, anyone could under the helmet is is a thing I would like to point out. You know? It's it's certainly possible. I don't... I'm very confused, you know? Like, I'm extremely confused about why A pigtails... Alright, whatever. A pigtails. Woo! -hoo. I guess there was Luxuria too, another good candidate for being a fake. Suddenly a flashback of something else came through Ancora, as though thinking about Luxuria triggered it. The girl began panting heavily. She held her stomach, and Nvidia inquisitively grabbed her shoulders. Is something wrong? No. No hope. She held onto the sides of her helmet in panic. She was having a panic attack regarding Luxuria, the real name Nico Hope. She could remember what he tried to do to her. He was a guy. And he tried to get her. Calm down. Just... Just stop thinking about it. Little by little, she gradually calmed down, and her breathing, her breath stopped being so laborious. Nika was dead, and there was nothing else he could do to her. Anyway, the keys, the keys, the keys! They're all us! The letters with the keys, they're all representing us. P for Pandora, I for Nvidia, G for Gula, T for Tristitia, and so on. But there's one that's not part of the group. It's the A key. The anagram isn't talking about pigtails, it's talking about how A is a fake with pigtails. The rest of them all. But there are two A keys, just like there's Ancora and Avaricia. What does it mean? But before that question could be answered, Nvidia spoke just as the elevator ceased all movement. Are you done with your little talk? Almost. The door will open shortly now. Follow my lead, and you can take off the helmet like this. Alright, let's go then, on your lead. Avirisha reached for her helmet, and Vidya mimicked her. Ankura watched in the cramped space as they fiddled with the bits under their jawline, and then they grabbed the sides. It wasn't supposed to come off until we leave this place. What are they doing? Did I make a terrible mistake? Maybe Superbia wasn't a traitor. Maybe I was just overthinking it. Occam's Razor. The most likely suspect was Nvidia since he previously vanished and did all this weird stuff. Was Avarishia the real traitor then? Was I played for a fool? The helmets came off. Finally, I can breathe well again. These things are terrible to wear. I love that it's like... The... I can't tell if those are like like weird cybernetic implants or if they're just like 
or or if it, <laughs> Nvidia just has random studs in the side side of his face, like he just decided to get like a cheek piercing. <laughs> um, also, I guess he's ginger. Anyway, you like gambling, right, Cora? I don't understand what is happening. It's okay. This door behind us will open at the probability of 288 to 1. Do you feel lucky, Cora? Or should I say, Miss Penmill? How do you know my last name? I know everything about you, Miss Penmill. Why is Miss not capitalized? It's really bothering me. And as for you, however, she appointed at her. More specifically, she did so at the helmet itself, grabbing under the jawline before pulling onto the thing's sides. It's time for you to surrender your right to live. I'll see you later. That one... that one is meant for me. And then, it was dark again. But as the helmet was removed from Ancora's head, a certain set of directives was triggered to be made manifest. It won't help me now, though. Now I know the directives, but I don't know for which helmet they are. Everything is mixed, or malange, as it were. If only I knew which helmet they were for. But maybe you know that. Maybe you can help. If you can, you know where to go. Okay, so are these going to be the NVIDIA directives? That I need? Not the inn? Okay. Interesting. Uh... Do I go back to file to be continued? Okay, well, uh, this- these alternate routes were not here before. So, okay. Oh, whoa, this is like a whole new- Oh, whoa! Oh, dang! Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, so... I can't go here, I guess, because this is locked. I guess, I don't know what... Okay. So, I guess let's go here, because this looks like it branches. Where am I? Floating. I'm floating. Floating in a sea of nothing. Before, everything was dark. Now I know why you're- now I know that you're here. The thought is comforting. Please don't go. Not yet. I need you here. Right now. But it's useless, isn't it? I already know. You'll kill me. And God witnessed all that had been made, and indeed it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Genesis 131. Okay. Okay, I remember this. This is messed up. This is messed up, but it has to be done. The seat the girl was sitting on was uncomfortable. It was the least of her worries, however. Hunched over with her eyes closed, it was the perfect moment for introspection. Pandora. That's my name. At least, that's my nickname. It's made of Pan and Dorom. It's Greek. It means all and gifted. So the all gifted, or the all giving. That's a really poor name, because I have nothing to give. Just things to take. Take from who, you ask? From eight animals. She remained immobile, as if she was afraid of what was soon to come. Afraid of the unknown, afraid of failure, afraid of being afraid. Every possible thing to be afraid of all at once. 
In the room, two other people were alongside her, immobile. They already had their masks on, unlike the other girl. One vaguely resembled a rabbit, and the other a wolf. The one next to the girl was similar to a bear in theme. I think it's about time to put on the helmet. It won't be long before they wake up, and I'm, if I'm not ready by then, I'd rather not think about it. There, it's on. Just as expected, I can't see anything through it just yet. That's because my helmet's special, given that I'm behind all of this. I need to have some measure of control and all. Vision will be fixed once I connect to it. Can't see anything because the cameras lining the exterior aren't linked yet. I can hack any helmet thanks to that, which lets me spy on others. I couldn't make, make this kind of thing myself. I programmed it all for me. Is he part of this too? No, I don't think so. All the people here have committed great sins, and it was all Pandora's fault. You could say it was my fault. I'm Pandora, after all. I've been Pandora for years. Well, I better get to it. Time to activate this piece of junk. Lodge Nuggets. So we did program it to be a funny puzzle. Which I can't say I'm surprised about. I should have expected something like this from that piece of work. I don't think he really understood what these helmets were for. In a way, I'm glad that's the case. But it also means I'm gonna have to solve this kind of thing every time I want to spy on someone, huh? All I have to do is follow the instructions on the upper part of the interface. Which seems simple enough. Judging by what I'm looking at, he left me a way to get hints, too. That's nice, since I don't have the time to worry over solving it the proper way. Enough flubbing around. I'll just take the hints if I need them so I can finish this ASAP. At least it was easy. Immediately, she was assaulted by a vicious and annoyed howl coming from the side, which promptly and completely woke her up. Okay. Uh... It's been quite a while for this second one, and if I remember correctly, I'm not going to be cutting a whole lot out of it, so... Um... I'm going to... I'm going to... Go and stop it here for right now. Uh, alright everybody, thanks for joining. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and uh... Please take it easy! All right, everybody, have a great um, whatever day this ends up getting posted, I guess. And uh, yeah. All right. So it doesn't look like we're quite at the end, although we might be on the final track. Um, I got some directives, but I don't I don't actually have them. And I don't know if they're the directives I need for NVIDIA or not. So I don't know, but we'll we'll take a look um, and see what's going on. And uh, yeah. All right. Catch you later, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.